These are a few different methods that you can do to boost your FPS in Fortnite. So it looks like this on screen. Please drop a like if the video helps and subscribe to the channel for more. All right, so first up, you wanna go inside of your PC case at the motherboard where the RAM itself is located and you need to ensure that it has been installed correctly. It's recommended to use even channel memory. So that's either dual RAM or quad RAM. Although you can use single RAM, it's not really recommended as both dual and quad are preferred for gaming. What you definitely don't want to use is uneven channel memory, like free sticks for example. When installing dual memory, it should be installed like this on screen and not like the other way, because if you install it incorrectly, this will affect your performance negatively. Next though, on your desktop, you want to press the left control, shift and escape keys all at the same time. This will open up your task manager where you then want to go over to performance, then select memory, which is your RAM. And if you go down to the bottom here on the right hand side, specifically you will see loads of information about your RAM. Now this value right here is very important because it may be incorrect and what I mean by that is the speed that's on here may be lower than what was actually advertised when you bought the RAM. For example with my RAM here you can see that the speed is 6400 so to match the advertised RAM speeds with the actual RAM speeds on your PC you have to do something called XMP. To do this you want to just click on the start menu then type in system information just click that one there and then you want to look for your motherboard it should be under baseboard product right there you then want to copy that into google but then add bios key and then you'll basically find out how to access your bios on your specific motherboard because there's different keys for different motherboard brands after that you can shut down your pc then you can boot your pc back up and when it is actually opening up you can enter the bios and once you're in here it will look very confusing but there should be like an easy mode that you can do this with and what you essentially want to look for is something called xmp or ram or overclock and then you literally just want to enable it. There should be two different profiles. If you just select one of the profiles, that should be the speed that you should be getting. And it's really as simple as that. After that, you now have XMP, which has many benefits. Moving on though to the next optimization, you want to go into the start box again. This time type in restore point, create a restore point. Then if you literally go down to the bottom and click create, I'm going to call this process lasso as that's what we're going to be using. And just like that, it'll create one. And this is just in case you get any issues or problems with your PC, you can just revert it all you just need to go in the system restore and select it right there it's that simple once you've done that though just literally google process lasso it should be the first one via bitsum.com and what this is right here is a cpu optimization program that you can download for free and once you have installed it or have downloaded the application itself you can see it does look pretty confusing now i myself i'm still playing around with this testing different benchmarks and stuff for my current pc as what i've heard with this program is it differs from pc to pc like mileage basically might vary but i'm gonna show the best settings that i've found so far and it's something that you can play around with if you want and if it works good great and if it doesn't you can go ahead and revert it but so far I've found if you go to the top left corner under main it's important that you have this checked, that's manage processes of all users, as well as pro balanced enabled checked. Some people also have the performance mode enabled, but I've not found that beneficial just yet. I find the other settings just fine. But after that, you can go ahead and click off it and actually open up the game of choice, which for me, that's going to be Fortnite. And once the game itself is running, if you go back into process lasso under active processes, you will find the game right there and you want to go ahead and right click on it. The first thing most people do is go under CPU priority under always so it's always happening and they set it from the default none or it might be on normal to high and that right there makes the priority class on the specific game high as by default it is on normal another thing people like to do is right click on it yet again but go under cpu affinity under always and they actually select the cpu affinity now in here you can see that it's checked like everything and by default it does check both the performance cores and the efficiency cores but i've heard that for some pcs out there and this is not for every Every PC but for some it's something you've just got to try if you click performance cores and only use the performance cores this can be beneficial for me I didn't notice any sort of difference so I just like to cancel this but that right there is all the settings I've found so far for process lasso it's a very interesting program if you've got any suggestions yourself feel free to comment them below moving on yet again this time inside the Nvidia inspector if you don't know what this program is it allows us to configure a ton of hidden settings that are not found in either the Nvidia app or the Nvidia control panel which you can then customize to get potato 
graphics on screen, which you can imagine will boost the FPS. To set it up, just simply Google Nvidia Inspector. I like to select the GitHub one, where you'll see the latest version. Just simply click on the Nvidia Profile Inspector zip. You'll then see a zip file. To unzip it, just right click on it go on to show more options and click extract all, then simply extract it. From here, we now can open the NVIDIA profile inspector. And the first thing to do is go to the top left under profiles, delete it, and then type in Fortnite and actually select the game. You'll know if it's worked if you get this green bar right here. From there though, you want to scroll down to where it says free anti-aliasing and you want to find anti-aliasing transparency super sampling. Now by default, this is off slash on multi-sampling. We want to click on the drop down and you want to find the set in replay mode all, which is this one right here. From there, scroll down slightly to four texture filtering and click on the driver controlled LOD bias. Now by default, this is on. We want to go ahead and turn it off like so. Now for this, I recommend two different profiles you can try. The first one is low graphics that has plus 0.5 on both of them, as well as the quality being on high quality. This, as the name suggests, gives you way more lower quality graphics in game, but not as low quality as the next profile, which is ultra low graphics. And this has plus three on both of them, along with high quality on the texture filter and quality. This will give you the famous potato graphics, but for me, this is slightly unplayable. I myself, I actually prefer using plus zero three seven five, as that was actually suggested by one of you guys. Thank you, by the way, this does make the game way more playable and the performance on it is great as well as the visuals too. It definitely doesn't give you those like horrible jagged edges that you find on the higher values like plus three and above obviously with them it does make the textures like way more potato-y so you'll get these sort of effects in game where you're sort of like running through them and it's just a bit glitchy and it's not very ideal or rather playable at all. So something like this or even this on screen works great and I'm really happy with it. If none of these are for you though, you can try a middle ground value in between. However, when you have made your mind up of what values you're going to use, don't forget to apply the changes at the top right. And then when you do launch up the game, you will notice that you have your desired ultra low graphics. But if it turns out you are not happy with these values and you can't find one that works you can reset all of these back to default just go to the top left firstly and make sure the fortnite is selected with the green bar and then simply click on this button right here which is the green nvidia logo and what this will do is it'll restore all these values that we just changed back to normal However, don't forget to click apply changes on the top right again. But that right there has been a few different methods that you can use to boost your FPS in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2. If it helped out, feel free to drop a like on it, drop a sub on the channel and use my code in the item shop. That helped me out a ton and feel free to check out any of my other videos on screen right now.